it blows my mind when I see the things that media people do wrong when it comes to approaching a music tour for getting hired. Now, when I talk about media for a music tour, of course, I'm talking about both photo and video. Now, some touring media is hired on a per show basis, local photographers and local videographers. And in other situations, we bring on media people for the entire tour where they travel with us and get not only footage during the shows, but all matters of BTS. Having a media person on the road with you for tour does have its benefits, specifically when it comes to congruency in the style of media, types of photos and videos that are taken, which is important for some artists, but not for all. If you are new here, my name is Alexi Wayman. I am a full-time music tour manager and come from about 12 years of event production background. Currently, I manage bands on the road in reggae, rock, metal, and EDM, and have recently toured all over the US, Canada, Europe, and Caribbean, with hopefully a bunch of other countries coming soon. In my role as a tour manager, I am often looking for and hiring media people on the road. I've probably hired in the past year alone anywhere between 50 to 100 media people for a variety of types of events. And I've seen a lot of very good and very bad things that media people do when it comes to trying to chomp at the bit, so to speak. So today I wanna to share a few of my personal tips based on my observations for how to get hired as a photographer or videographer for a music tour. And again, this comes from someone myself who actually does hire media people all the time. As you come up with questions, please be sure to put them down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel to see more music and tour industry videos like this. And if you stay until the end of this video, I will share my personal secret tip for how to stand out and get hired as a media person for a music tour. The first tip for how to get hired as a media person for a music tour may seem a little obvious, but you need to have a solid Instagram. And yes, this is portfolio, but this is specific Instagram. We need to be able to see a portfolio of your work. There's just no way around it. For many people, including myself, Instagram is the most preferred way to see a photographer or videographer's portfolio. Because not only is it just a very accessible, familiar way to see a spread of your different shooting styles or experiences, we can also see if we have, for example, mutual friends or mutual contacts in the industry. My colleagues and I are much more likely to work with and hire somebody that we know has a track record with other people in the industry that we trust and know. The more of the contacts we see as mutual friends, the more it tells us that you are pretty well integrated into the scene and you know what you're doing. And yes, the industry is small. We will ask our colleagues and friends for suggestions, tips, recommendations, and feedback about media personnel. Portfolio websites are okay, but in my experience, they're always different, they're clunky, convoluted, and it's difficult to really get a sense of the media person's abilities. So if you do choose to have a custom portfolio website of your work, just make sure it's extremely accessible and easy to access. Remember, you're battling against the familiarity of Instagram. Now, when it comes to the Instagram, you don't need to have a lot of followers, but you do need to have a solid amount of content, photo, videos of different styles, different lighting, so that we can really get a good sense of who you are as a media creative. The second tip for how to get hired as a media person on a music tour is to be on top of trends. When we hire media for tours, we always ask ourselves the question of what is the latest trend in the online space? We will look at other bands and see what they're doing, what kind of media are they coming up with? And we consider, should we try something like that for ourselves? In the past couple of years, for example, the multicam style has blown up and now every media person that I hire, I will always ask if they're able to do multicam. Especially for electronic artists, multicam is like essential. If you can't do multicam, you are shooting yourself in the foot. Other trends to keep in mind are things like steady versus shaky cam? Do you shoot in portrait or landscape? Are you able to make scrapbook style slideshows for Instagram? 
There's family photos on stage with the artists. There's SFX timing for festival shots. There's pyro, CO2, confetti, etc. Take some time to research the media of your favorite artists or the artists that you'd like to shoot for and pay attention to their trends and styles and make sure that your portfolio presents your ability to capture those moments. The third tip for how to get hired as a media person for a music tour is to be sure the band or artist that you reach out to aligns with your shooting style. I'll tell you straight up, it's not very often that I hire a rock refer for an EDM artist because their portfolios and eyes of attention are very different. EDM is all about the big picture. It's about the CO2, the confetti, the grandiosity of the, of the festival, of the massive crowd with the lasers. Whereas rock photography and rock media is a lot more editorial. There's a lot of up close and personal moments with the bands on stage as they're shredding through a solo or as the drummers in the moment. So keep in mind that your portfolio, what you are showing to people, will dictate the type of clients you work with. So if you want to shoot for an EDM artist, you better have some sort of electronic festival style content in your portfolio that demonstrates your ability to capture those moments. Alternatively, if you want to go for the rock and roll or maybe the hip hop style, you need to be able to have content in your portfolio that shows those up close and personal moments. And there are a lot of other subtle differences, which hopefully in your experience or in your research as a media person, you are able to pick up on. The next tip for how to get hired as a media person, photographer, or videographer for a music tour is to understand that in some cases, bands make the choice about who to hire. And in other cases, the management chooses who they hire. And it's important to understand this because you have to realize who the actual decision makers are when it comes to hiring media for the road. Sometimes band members, bands are very involved in media. They have a very specific vision they want to capture. And in other situations, I've worked with bands where they could not care less about media. They just rely on management to find somebody to get some very basic pictures of them on stage or whatever. It's not really appropriate to ask who the decision maker is during the negotiation process, but it's something that you need to keep in mind because you have to remember who is actually hiring you, who is the person that's gonna decide whether or not they want to work with you again. And the final tip for how to get hired as a media person for a music tour is to be extremely precise in quoting your deliverables. When I'm hiring a media person last minute quickly, I need to know exactly what the expectations are. And the less back and forth we have about it, the better. So you need to be very upfront with what your expectations are as a media person. Specifically, what is your flat rate? How much should the client be prepared to spend? And what exactly does that include? As well as what is the very specific turnaround time? I don't want to give any numbers here uh, or examples because there are a lot of different styles of media personnel and relationships in the industry. So I suggest doing some research with your other media friends, colleagues, etc., and see how much they are getting hired for and what their expectations are. But you should always, always be including in your proposal a hard timeline of exactly when the assets will be delivered. And in some cases, the client myself may tell you, hey, we need to have these deliverables by this date, like no matter what. You need to mention how many assets specifically. So are you giving 20 raw photos, 10 edited photos, uh, 10 raw video clips? What is that hard number? And then of course, you need to be upfront about your total pay for the project. I will say that failure to be upfront about these expectations or costs specifically will be an immediate red flag to pretty much never hire you again. Okay, well, thanks for staying to the uh, end of the video. Now I wanna share a bit of a personal tip for what I think makes a media person stand out, at least in my eyes, and will almost always be the person I end up hiring. And that is to demonstrate your ability to have fun with a variety of social media experiments. A lot of bands and management want to get ahead of trends. So if you are able to demonstrate through your portfolio a real inclination for experimental media, then you should absolutely mention that in your discussions. I'm talking about unique pieces of content, unique videos, unique photos that really push the boundaries of what you can do as a media person and what the world maybe considers to be like normal media. 
So share a link to your TikTok if you have one. Or maybe it's a YouTube channel where you have all kinds of interesting video creative experiments that you're trying. Then show us the ones that have performed well from like an analytics metric standpoint and explain to us how we could or should incorporate something like that into our content and our media. At the end of the day, I and most of my colleagues want to hire somebody who is talented and creative and demonstrates a real unique personalized eye and attention to detail when it comes to their media. Well, thanks for watching guys. There are of course tons of other factors that play into getting hired for a music tour. For example, like have you ever been on tour? That's one thing that can make or break a deal. But in the grand scope of things, these tips are some of the most common that I've seen help media people get more jobs, specifically with touring bands. And these are things that I, as a tour manager, will look for when I'm talking to media folks. If you agree or disagree with anything I said in this video, please let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more music and tour industry videos like this. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.